If you are a regular viewer of Simply Tech, you're familiar with Elon's love for big announcements and ambitious deadlines for world-changing science fiction projects. Now, Elon recently announced that Tesla is gearing toward the mass manufacturing of a futuristic-looking, fully self-driven robo-taxi by the year 2023. So in this video, let's examine that claim a little bit more closely and see the future of self-driven transportation from Elon's point of view. The genesis of robo taxis. The concept of robo-taxis is not new at all. Elon first talked about them at Tesla's Autonomy Day event in April of 2019. In that event, he said, I feel very confident predicting autonomous robo-taxis for Tesla next year. Of course, that did not happen. No one could have predicted then that the year 2020 would throw a spanner in the works for everyone around the globe, and Tesla was no exception. After Elon's announcement, it was understood that Tesla was planning to include the robo-taxi as an additional feature in its existing models. The idea was to get to a stage where Tesla owners would rent out their fully self-driving cars as autonomous robo-taxis in an Uber-style model. Yeah, the idea sounds bonkers when you think about it, but Tesla has been well on its way toward realizing that goal with its fully self-driving, or FSD chip, and AI software suite. I made a video about Tesla's new neural net network recently. You can check that out for more on that. But coming back to the topic though, the announcement of 2019 was the genesis of Tesla's robo-taxis phenomenon. In his announcement in Texas earlier this month, Elon paints a completely different picture of what he means by Tesla robo-taxis. Here, Elon says that Tesla will be manufacturing robo-taxis as a separate vehicle on a massive scale. These will be dedicated, self-driving cars, presumably owned and operated by Tesla themselves, whose only purpose would be to ferry people from point A to B, creating a parallel, robot-driven network of public transport next to the human-driven one. Now, this is a whole nother ball game than what we were given to understand from his previous announcement at Autonomy Day in 2019. Obviously, Elon hasn't confirmed whether that initial idea of existing vehicles being able to transform themselves into robo-taxis still has the green light from his end. But as we will discuss later in this video, we believe that would be the first step in Tesla's journey of getting to a future where its robo-taxis would be commonplace, at least in North America to begin with. The biggest sticking point in realizing this future is not in the physical hardware, as we know, but the software side of things. So the question begs itself, at what stage of development is Tesla's self-driving technology for Elon to now come out and confidently make such an announcement? The software solution. Tesla's experiment with all this began with its autopilot technology. Since then, it has poured in significant resources to develop in-house capability toward creating a self-driving AI which is now known as Tesla Full Self-Driving, or FSD. Tesla's FSD has improved by orders of magnitude in the last couple of years, so much so that the company released its public beta in 2021 to be tested on the roads of San Francisco by Tesla owners. The program has exploded since then, and currently has over 60,000 drivers testing this FSD beta in all sorts of conditions, and Elon just announced that by the end of this year, FSD will be rolled out to all Tesla customers in North America. Not only does this decision display supreme confidence in the progress that Tesla has made in its self-driving software, it also tells us that Tesla has been able to successfully develop the infrastructure in the back end to absorb and learn from the enormous stream of data that is already being fed into its network by thousands of cars on the road every day. FSD beta testing involves automatic data collection through complex data curation methods and also manual data collection. Beta testers can press a button on their touchscreens to manually flag a segment of their drive for review by Tesla. Tesla. This has allowed Tesla to already train up its AI's neural network like no other. In fact, many experts believe that Tesla is just a few years, if not months away, from realizing the full capabilities of this software. With every update of the software, we are seeing performances that are off the charts. Cars are steering themselves around 90 degree turns with ease. They are making unprotected crossings through intersections all on their own. And the amount of zero intervention trips is steadily climbing as the Tesla AI builds a more accurate picture of the world around it. So when Elon claims that we could see production robo-taxis rolling out of gigafactories in some form or another by 2023, we can be relatively certain of this timeline. But no doubt that there are a lot of challenges yet to overcome, as this process of getting fully-fledged robo-taxis will be more of a gradual change rather than an overnight breakthrough. So let us try to pick up the trail of breadcrumbs left by Elon in his various announcements and predict the steps that Tesla will likely take to get us to that future. Tesla robo -taxis Taxi 
version 1.0. If you think about it, with the FSD beta testing, we are currently living through Tesla's RoboTaxi version 0.5. In just over a year of testing, no collisions have been reported, and the system works perfectly 95 times out of 100, with a few odd mistakes here and there. If this can be achieved in just a year of testing, with a handful of beta testers, imagine what can be achieved when Tesla launches the FSD on all its vehicles across North America later this year. Tesla will immediately start receiving an infinitely wider range of data that will allow its engineers to solve the final piece of the self-driving puzzles that much faster. With all his announcements, Elon is definitely hinting towards that future, where self-driven robo-taxis would become commonplace, and we can see this mindset reflected in Tesla's physical designs as well. The interior design and the features proposed in the new Model X or the Cybertruck are definitely representative of this. I mean, Tesla is certainly not putting in an overpowered AMD Ryzen processor or an RDNA2 GPU in the infotainment system of these latest models for you to just watch the navigation screen and play music on them, right? They definitely envision you being totally hands-off playing video games on your way to work very soon. According to me, the most compelling evidence that Tesla has already taken the first step toward that future is the bizarre Model S Plaid. It is probably the most exciting car to come out in a while. The car's interior is designed with a total lack of any buttons or levers, and I believe the futuristic looking half steering wheel is Tesla's way of telling us to get used to a future where the steering console becomes less and less relevant, as cars become more and more self-driving. Elon describes the Model S Plaid as a car having an integrated robotic chauffeur, who will intuitively learn your driving habits over time, and as it learns, it will gradually reduce the number of driver inputs down to zero. So imagine a day when all you need to do is just sit back in your car, buckle up, and it will automatically take you to your destination and back without a press of a button. If you are always on the go, your car can automatically sync up with your digital calendar and take you to your appointments without you having to turn on the navigation. When Tesla can achieve this, car owners will start thinking about their personal cars more like a cab rather than a car that has some self-driving features. This would transform a Tesla car into a personal cab that is at your beck and call, and you can rely on it to move you around from point A to B without having to provide any input at all. That, in my mind, would be Tesla's first robo-taxi version 1.0. But with his Cyber Rodeo announcement earlier this month, Elon has also given us a glimpse into what's going to be the Tesla robo-taxi version 2.0. Dedicated self-driving vehicles operating within a Tesla network, zigzagging the city streets of North America, providing an alternate means of public transport to people, and probably also at a fraction of the cost. This, to me, would be the second step in the evolution of Tesla's robo-taxis, the future of Tesla's robo-taxis. I am sure that in Elon's mind, the future of sustainable transportation is when people slowly move away from the concept of personal ownership of cars and start seeing them more as a service that they use on a daily basis to get to places. In this future, robo-taxis will become ubiquitous, and Elon wants Tesla to be the harbinger of this change. As self-driving technology is developed further and slowly permeates our society, humanity will reach an inflection point where an average person will start to lose interest in owning a car as private property. To be honest, I would prefer that future. When I can do away with owning a car, along with those expensive monthly payments and recurring expenses on a rapidly depreciating asset. Elon's recent announcement that Tesla will start producing dedicated robo-taxis from 2023 gives us a unique glimpse into where he expects Tesla to be in that new future. These Tesla robo-taxis version 2.0, as I call it, can very well be vehicles that were never designed to be driven by humans, maybe even designed specifically to travel at high speed through underground tunnels, or completely optimized for high volume production and public use. No matter what the Tesla robo-taxi of the future looks like, this is for sure. Elon and Tesla are already thinking about dominating this space by planning to operate a large network of these fully autonomous robo-taxis in the very near future. And what's more, it makes perfect financial sense as well. Imagine the revenue that can be generated by a fleet of robo-taxis, where each vehicle has the potential of generating a steady stream of revenue for Tesla over its entire lifespan instead of the one-time revenue that Tesla generates now when it sells its cars to customers. Imagine a future where Tesla is producing millions of such vehicles every year. The amount of money that can be generated by a network such as that is staggering and beyond comprehension at the moment. And come to think about it, if the idea plays out according to Elon's vision, it is a real possibility that in the foreseeable future, Tesla might stop selling cars altogether, as this segment of their business turns out to be endlessly profitable. I would venture a guess that by the end of the
the next decade. The world would definitely be talking about Tesla's new robo-taxi network in the same way we talk about its latest Cybertruck. Of course, before all that becomes a reality, Tesla has to overcome a lot of regulatory and legal obstacles, no doubt, and perhaps even find a solution to its battery problem once and for all. But I remain confident about Elon's timeline of seeing some version of a Tesla robo-taxi, even if it is a concept, by the end of 2023. Do you agree with me? When do you expect the Tesla robo-taxi to take to the streets? Let me know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.